And welcome, everybody. I'm Ray Andrews. I'm executive director of the Quinnipiac Chamber of Commerce. We're an affiliate chamber of the Greater New Haven Chamber of Commerce. And it's springtime. And what that means and has been for the last three years, now going on our fourth year, is the Chamber Wellness Challenge around the state of Connecticut, where various chambers of commerce are competing as teams against uh, each other in a competitive, healthy environment. And other teams are being formed uh, as we speak right now from various businesses, including yours. So thanks for joining us. What we expect to do in the next uh, several minutes is uh, walk through how you can get engaged and involved with the Chamber Wellness Challenge this year. Uh, healthy walking and healthy habits uh, starting on April 1st, running through the end of June. Of course, our presentations and uh, award winners over the summer, which we'll note. Uh, we want to mention that with our Greater New Haven Chamber of Commerce, the Healthcare and Life Sciences Council is very proud to bring this to you, sponsored by Retreat Behavioral Health. And I'd like now to uh, bring in from Blueback Health, uh, knowing the way for sure with our wellness challenge, Eric Thompson is going to fill us in on how you can get involved with this wellness challenge. Eric, it's always a joy to do this every spring. It's a rite of passage. I can hear the birds exactly. sing, the flowers are blooming. We're outside, we're walking, we're getting healthy. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, and today we could have been doing our uh, Arctic 500 challenge with the, the snow that we're receiving. But I uh, first, I wanna appreciate, you know, uh, just say uh, uh, some appreciation for uh, the Quinnipiac and the Greater New Haven Chamber of Commerce. Uh, partnership that we've had, um, aside from me being on the Healthcare and Life Sciences Council uh, for the past eight years. And so uh, really excited to bring the, the fourth annual Chamber Wellness Challenge to uh, over 15 chambers here in the state of Connecticut. Uh, also excited to uh, mention that our title sponsor, Pulse for Pulse, you're going to hear more about them, but they're delivering some, some very uh, important clinical services to folks here in Connecticut. Uh, also, our pop-up challenge sponsor, CBIA, so the Connecticut Business Industry Association, uh, who support uh, a lot of businesses here in Connecticut. But at the end of the day, uh, we want to spend a couple minutes talking about the Chamber Wellness Challenge. Uh, it's going to kick off April 1st. It's going to run through uh, June 30th. That's 91 days. Um, there's information on our website, uh, blueback.health.com. Um, but I'm going to share my screen, make sure that this works. Um, does that look good, Ray? It looks excellent. There it okay, is. Okay, wonderful. So um, when we look at it, uh, it's a simple teamwork uh, challenge. It's a, it's based on walking. Again, it's chamber against chamber um, for fun, you know. Um, and at the core of the challenge, and we will be talking about our technology and pricing and all that in a second. Um, but the bottom line is everyone that's signed up under respective chambers, we want you to walk 5,000 steps a day. Uh, very achievable. Uh, it's a new uh, challenge for us this year, whereas before we had different formats in prior years. But if you walk 5,000 steps a day, uh, obviously, it'd be great to push yourself a little bit more, but that is the baseline. Um, the cost is $40. You can pay through, through the website. Uh, and then for that, you'll get uh, uh, able to participate, use the technology, know that that money is going to uh, the charity of choice for each chamber. Uh, also, it's going to uh, benefit the chamber itself and then also run the program. Um, when we look at it, um, the main challenge is moving day, 5,000 steps a day. Um, with that said, we also have a secondary for those that are really competitive called Step It Up. These, this challenge will operate simultaneously, um, and that will be the leaderboard of how many steps are you walking a day. We ask that you sync your device or mobile app. Uh, to that uh, portal that we use. Um, and then also we have a variety of, of monthly challenges. So we'll have some fun with this. So for example, secret 007 is do seven nice things uh, for individuals. Unannounced, uh, you know, point in time. Uh, so secret 007, another one, uh, park it will be, uh, that's in June. Uh, we want you to visit three parks in Connecticut and go for a hike uh, or a walk. Um, so that's a couple uh, scenarios of where we have additional activities or challenges that'll be kind of fun. Go local is visit a farmer market. And so if you do any of those monthly challenges, you'll earn a point just like, uh, and I'll get into it in a second, every day you walk 5,000 steps, you'll get a point. And then those points will come into play when we judge who the uh, winning chamber is. Um, and then we have some pop-up challenges uh, that are coming up. 
And so those will be uh, sporadically throughout the 91 days, some really fun activities around the state of Connecticut affiliated with, you know, the chambers that are participating. And I know Ray's got some things that he's going to be doing with Quinnipiac, uh, as well as Greater New Haven. So we'll, we'll look forward to those pop-up challenges, uh, again, sponsored by uh, CBIA. So what's at stake? You know, some of it's just having some fun, some of it's smart, uh, smack talk, but the winner, the winning chambers will have the highest average points per person. So a chamber that may have 50 participants versus 200 participants, we take the points that people are earning, we divide them by the number of people, and that average is how we judge the winner. Uh, we have weekly newsletters every Friday morning that come out uh, that you will see um, if you're participating. And then at the end of that, we award first, second, and third place. Uh, this is a, a picture of Leslie from the Newington Chamber. They won it last year, uh, and their charity choice was Newington Children's Theater. Uh, New Haven came in second last year, and the uh, charity choice was Marrakech. Um, and then we also had third place for Waterbury, and their charity was um, Literacy Volunteers of Greater Waterbury. So those are uh, some of the, again, name drop of the cha charities that benefited from this last year. We're also going to have some raffle prizes when we close out the, the uh, closing ceremonies in July. Um, and so those that want to be competitive on the Step It Up Challenge, um, you know, that's where there will be some awards for that as well. So not only can you walk and benefit the chamber and the chamber team, but you can also do it individually. Uh, if you're someone that wants to get motivated by getting your step count up uh, and see where you are, you are on the leaderboard. Um, one thing that people always ask is, okay, how am I going to report my activity? Well, our platform, um, in partnership with our wellness technology company, Wellright, um, you will get, when you register uh, within two business days, an invitation to set up your portal. And it's driven off of your email. Uh, but once you get into your portal, you can sync an approved device or an app. So whether you look at a Garmin, a Fitbit, uh, Apple Health, uh, most people think the Apple Watch, uh, Google Fit, you know, maybe you're running off of Android. Those will sync in with our portal. And so when you're doing the moving day and step it up challenge, which operates simultaneously, all of your steps will be automatically synced into the portal. Uh, obviously, there's some update during the day, but um, but you don't have to go into the portal to do anything. But maybe you are someone who uh, doesn't use a wearable device or an approved app and you want to do it uh, another method or you have a different tracking mechanism, you can do it via our mobile app. You can do it via the computer uh, by logging in. You can also set up your cell phone to be a text tracking and get a text from us uh, at your convenience um, to report your steps. And uh, so a variety of ways to sync your steps, very user-friendly, very easy. Um, and then also we're here to uh, to help out with it. And when you look at the registration, if you go to our website, blueback.health.com, you can see here uh, that it's simply click. Uh, for example, if you're an individual over here, you click to get started, give us the information, select a chamber, and then that pushes you into uh, just paying via your credit card uh, for the $40 fee. For employers that are interested, we'd love to have a conversation with you one-on-one -on -one to say, okay, you have an employee population, uh, what can we do to help support you, your employees? I mean, ultimately, Blueback Health, we work with employers in our wellness program, as well as, as, well as our benefit consulting and health insurance. So, so we have a lot of experience and, and every conversation is unique. So for employers, we'd love to have a personal conversation. Um, and once you do log in or go to our website, you can just simply follow the instructions on how to pay. Um, as I mentioned earlier, once you register and pay, you're going to get an email confirmation that you paid uh, that's going to have a copy of our participation guide. It's a little over 10 pages. It talks about how do I sync my device. It talks about how to add a family mem member because you can add a family member at no additional cost. You invite them to, to join in from your uh, you know, settings and your homepage. Um, and then once we get going now, you'll be able to go in this month and, and start to kick the tires on what's available to you, both through the challenges that we have set up, but then you can also select from our over 300 different challenges um, and have some fun with it. Um, any employers that are out there that maybe want a, a, a sponsorship so that we can you know, work with you and, and promote you, um, we have sponsorships available. Uh, you can definitely go to Ray on that directly uh, or come to us. Um, it is a partnership. 
Um, if you're an individual and say, gee, you know, would my employer want to join in and, and potentially pay for me? Love to have that conversation. We have a lot of employers that join in through the chamber and we can, you know, get their employee roster and load it in without people having to go through a website one at a time. So uh, by all means, you know, uh, ask us about that. A lot of uh, employers also have health wellness funds that are built into the health insurance policy. So we might be able to get that actually paid for uh, without having to write a separate check. So uh, definitely ask your employer if they're interested in joining. Um, and that's kind of my quick rundown. I don't know, Ray, if I went too fast, um, but maybe we could have a couple, you know, question and answers. Um, maybe I didn't cover some things, Ray, that you are thinking. So uh, let's have at it. Let's have at it indeed. Well, first of all, I just want to endorse what we're doing. Uh, I've uh, provided you some of my own personal uh, history and story with uh, participating over the last uh, three years in the three chamber wellness challenges. So folks, what happened to me, and this is where you need to get back to your companies, see if they'll uh, host you and they'll uh, sponsor you to get your teams together, get your friends together. I dropped 27 pounds as a result of this two years ago. Started with 15 pounds uh, over the course of the three months of walking, about five pounds on average a month, slight dietary change, plus the walking. And we got in some really great uh, mileage then. Uh, and then that propelled me to continue on my wellness journey to uh, lose an additional 12 pounds. Why do I tell you this? Sometimes you just need to get your walking papers. You just need to be able to start your program. And walking is a very easy way to get yourself back to wellness and health. You don't have to hit the gym. You don't have to do instant cardio. You don't have to pump iron from day one. This is a great way to get the body going. So I'd encourage uh, those of you who are maybe a little intimidated uh, about wellness or, or perhaps getting back into shape, that this is a wonderful, easy way to do this outdoors. And, and I think um, it's, it's been a pleasure to be available to do this over the last three years as well. So I do have a couple of questions uh, for you, Eric, if we can, uh, and certainly we welcome any questions too that come in as, as we go along. Um, just in, in terms of wellness itself um, and, and your company, a lot of people uh, struggle perhaps uh, with sleep. A lot of people struggle with uh, just you know, checking their, their blood pressure, hypertension, right. cholesterol. Your app that you've had and provided to is you can actually start to do some monitoring as you go along in this program. Yeah, I mean, some of it is the awareness, you know, the the uh, a lot of the apps, you know, if you look at Apple Health, for example, will start to measure some of your biometrics. Um, the other thing, and I want to uh, share just, and this is my user side, so it may look a little bit different. Uh, can you see the homepage of the portal, uh, right? Yes, yes, we can. So when we look at folks discovering what their overall health is, health to us is not, you know, eating salads and running marathons. It's financial well-being, emotional well-being, uh, nutritional, and where people, you know, start to gain an understanding of where they are, which some of these numbers that you talk about, Ray, um, age gauge, you know, so age gauge is a health questionnaire. No one sees this information. You know, if everyone hears everyone saying HIPAA, it's real. So we don't see this, but it's a, it's really about a 15 minute question and answer that you go through to discover what are your health needs. It might be financial well-being. It may not be physical. It may not be emotional. It could be emotional. But this age gauge, which at the end, you know, you actually, you know, looks at health age and compared to your physical age. But then you can say, OK, within this chamber wellness challenge, what can I do, uh, at least for the next 90 days to work on some, you know, some changes, some habits and really Wellness really starts with small incremental change to certain habits, as Ray said. You know, we we were just having a call yesterday with a charity of choice for another um, uh, chamber, and their executive director has lost 50 pounds in the last six months. And what did she do? She just knew she needed to move more. She bought a Fitbit, and the Fitbit told her, you know, day one, 2,000 steps, so I can do 25 the next. Uh, and then she's now up to, you know, 8,000 steps a day, feeling great uh, and in control because it is tough to get over that mental barrier of just making some small incremental changes. And so with that said, our age gauge gives us that baseline. And then when you look at education, gee, you know, what do these numbers mean? I just went to my doctor within university inside our portal. We have all kinds of small courses, three minute videos, 
simple question. So, you know, maybe you all of a sudden want to know more about asthma or allergies. And so why I'm showing this is to say, yes, it's a walking challenge and we're going to have a lot of fun with this and it's going to be, you know, community building through the chamber, but you personally are going to have access to a lot of uh, great content and information and you'll be able to do some challenges on your own. Um, I'll show you here where when we look at, you know, devices and apps. So if you look here, I can go in my portal. I mentioned to you that, you know, here's how I can connect my uh, my Apple Health uh, app. Uh, and I probably push it through my Apple Watch. But if you didn't know, if you have an iPhone, it really is Apple Health on your phone. And so that's tracking your steps. Um, if you happen to have a watch, then you'll know what they are by looking at that. Um, and then um, when we also look at going back to our homepage, uh, here's our, our challenges. Um, when you uh, get logged in, you know, you can click on moving day, gives you a little bit of information, you're automatically signed up for it. Um, and so, yeah, uh, getting back to what Ray was saying, um, what we want is we want our chambers and our members in the chambers to have some fun with this, uh, to gain some better awareness of our individual health, uh, and then also um, support our businesses here in Connecticut and our community. So, uh, hopefully that gave a good overview for folks. Uh, other questions, Ray? Sure. Well, we're starting to get some questions in the uh, Q&A here. We welcome your questions. Uh, today I asked, uh, what should I do if I did not receive a follow-up email after registering for this event? Um, so uh, we're actually, anyone that's registered as of today, we're actually just loading them in right now into the portal. Uh, so you should get a welcome email to the email that you gave to us on file. Uh, and you should get that uh, by two o'clock today. Yeah, that's great. So another question um, that we have is, is we've been hearing so much about mental health uh, during the pandemic and yep. some of the extended uh, issues uh, for families, people in the workplace. Uh, and, and of course, wellness is built into mental health as well. So this is also another component of, of, of wellness uh, as far as this chamber challenge is concerned. Absolutely. You know, I'll use, I'll call out, you know, and look at our monthly challenge lineup. You can see secret 007 starts in 18 days because that's an April challenge. Do seven nice things for someone and it could be different people, but, you know, just like paying it forward where maybe you go through Dunkin' Donuts and you pay for the person behind you. That's an example. Um, but then when we look at what other things do we have, uh, you look at personal challenges here. Um, you can join, you know, like I was saying, we've got over 300 challenges. And if I want to filter that, let's say I want to focus on, um, oh, let's, let's pick one here. Um, be positive. Um, and so one of the challenges that we have um, is 100 thanks. And you could sign up for this, you could do it for a month. And it's uh, 100 thank yous for folks. Um, it could also be aromatherapy or do five things with a friend, um, a variety of other things. So I think mental well-being, uh, Ray, there's so many things that we have in our inventory of challenges or activities that all of a sudden we see give a great mileage to people saying, I just got to start breaking out of a funk or learn more about where I am mentally. And one thing that people um, forget sometimes about walking is hiking is walking. So you can do this in the great outdoors, which is also uh, proven uh, to be outdoors to help and assist with better outcomes for mental health. Right, which is also why we did, you know, park it, uh, which is visit three parks in the month of June, because we have some beautiful parks uh, and, and hiking areas here in Connecticut from simple flatland to something more aggressive. And uh, I know personally, you know, I need to take more advantage of that because we have these great free resources. Yeah. Yeah, and it's gorgeous. In many of the parks, uh, we have waterfront and we have hills here in Connecticut. Right. So we have some beautiful spaces, urban spaces as well that are just beautiful to walk through. We get a question here from Dina. So Eric, Dina is asking for a very small business. They have three employees. Can we sign up as an employer or are we too small? No, you can definitely sign up for an employer, Dina. You know, um, if it's more convenient for you to email me, uh, email us a, an Excel spreadsheet of first name, last name, and, and uh, email address, uh, you can send that to us. And then we can send you a quick invoice for that, um, which is the $40 times three. Uh, and if that's easier, then we're happy to do that. One of the things, of course, in the workplace is we have people who are teenagers all the way up 
uh, into not teenagers, they're seniors. You have an age gauge. So this is sort of adjusted to someone's age, uh, these programs. Um, so someone who has needs at the age of 20 or 25 might be a different employee in a different place or space, as opposed to somebody who's 65 or 70. Correct. Yeah. And when you go to do our age gauge, which again is a, we, I call it a discovery um, uh, activity. Um, it's really helpful for folks to have their most recent blood work. Um, when you look at your cholesterol, your A1C, um, maybe your PSA, have that information ready because then that will um, also intuitively give you uh, really valuable feedback and align you with activities that we have inside of our, I call it the portal, um, to say, hey, here's something you might want to do on a personal challenge side. Yeah. So I'm glad you uh, put together this personal challenge side, and, you can, and it's very comprehensive questions you have here. These checklists are remarkable how many you've actually put together. Everybody has a sandwich board of something they're struggling with. Um, everyone has, for example, I struggle with insomnia. Uh, and I find that when I walk and when I exercise for truth, I sleep better. Yeah. And again, I think the benefits are there. Um, and, and also when we started this, uh, chamber wellness challenge, um, and, you know, Ray and I worked closely uh, on the first chamber wellness challenge. Um, and it's just, it, it's uplifting to, to be out moving a little bit. Um, one question we get is, oh, I do, you know, Peloton. Is there a conversion factor? There's not, you know, this is ultimately a fun, simple walking challenge. So we don't, we don't use any conversions. Um, some folks, and I respect this, will say, well, but I'm working out and I should get credit. This is just a simple walking challenge. Um, you can take advantage on the personal challenge side if you want to, you know, challenge yourself to get so much time or or metrics on your Peloton, you can do that uh, on a personal side. But uh, at the end of the day, we just want you to track, uh, you know, physical steps. Obviously, running is is a step too. Um, but yeah, to Ray's point, uh, there's a number of things that you can discover and take advantage of uh, to strengthen some habits that you might want to improve. So Eric, we have a couple of HR directors who um, are with us on this call, and they'll be asking about this program. Uh, we keep hearing from some of our larger uh, employers that may have 50 to 100 employees that they have seen a rise in absenteeism, you know, the yes. one day out. Um, they, some folks will call it the mental health day, or there may be a bug, or maybe there's a COVID uh, question if they have a sniffles or runny nose. But this is also another way to combat that within the workplace. If you have healthy employees, uh, you have a lot uh, fewer absences. Yeah, and really what we're seeing, Ray, you know, again, when we look at our employer clients, it's the employer morale issue is what we're trying to get to. Um, a company may think, well, I provide all these benefits and yet I still have this increasing absenteeism. Uh, ultimately, when we get to the company culture, uh, policies, procedures, and also just camaraderie, we're definitely seeing now uh, post-pandemic where employers want to bring people back to the office, there's maybe some resistance or its employees want to come back um, because they've lost touch. And when we did this first challenge and, you know, Ray, you're going to remember it kicked off four years ago tomorrow, which was right. the beginning of the pandemic. And our first year was a godsend to folks because now they had something to do and a community they could touch it, touch base with uh, remotely. Um, and now we're trying to get back uh and get more, you know, arm in arm uh, with colleagues and friends and just reconnect. And so that's one thing we're seeing that this platform really allows folks to do is, is reconnect, maybe join in, maybe they issue themselves a personal challenge to another friend. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all encompassing. It is. So about five more minutes left um, in our presentation here today, we welcome any other uh, questions uh, from uh, those who are viewing, if you have any questions or any suggestions as we move forward uh, here, uh, let's talk about summer. Uh, let's get to the finish line, if we will. Uh, the rewards. You've, you've had, including myself, you've had other people who participated who really love this uh, entire uh, program. But you do give out a couple of raffle prizes. So there are some real tangible rewards that come along with participation. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're, we're thankful because our uh, chambers that have joined in, I mentioned we're, you know, I think we're at about 15. Our chambers have been very generous with their members uh, so any members of the chamber that may want to showcase what they do or contribute to a raffle prize, we've seen everything from, you know, um, 
free passes to you know museums, to uh, restaurant uh, gift cards, to uh, gift cards for you know uh, sneaker stores, running stores, um, uh, ice cream. You know uh, we've seen that, and so it really runs the gamut. But it's a nice way to have some fun. So during our closing ceremony. Um, we do a raffle uh, pulling, you know, random number generators and folks have really enjoyed those raffle prizes. Um, and uh, so that was another piece of it. And like I mentioned earlier this year, which is the first time we actually put some individual charity of choice awards for the top uh, individuals that have the highest step count. The only caveat there is uh, the top three people based on step count one. They have to use a device uh, or an app that syncs with our portal. Uh, and secondly, all three have to agree to be interviewed by me so I can understand what motivates them to do what they do. Um, and we love those testimonials because we want to promote success stories. So I mentioned the charity of choice and the woman who's lost 50 pounds. We're going to actually do a profile on her in the next few weeks, just like uh, Ray's journey. Uh, we love to showcase what he's done. Uh, on our homepage of our website. Uh, and so we love those stories. And that's where also our weekly newsletter comes into play. So anyone that has a great story or just a good story, uh, love to hear it. Well, we want to thank CBIA. They're helping you with the pop-up challenges. Um, in the 91 days getting started on April 1st, running through June 30th, and then our rewards and our ceremonies and trophies that come afterwards that Eric uh, mentioned. Uh, 5,000 steps a day, that's what we're targeting. Um, and what I found amazing, this is amazing statistics you compiled, is that with the last Chamber Wellness Challenge, all those who participated walked the earth collectively four times. Yeah, you know, that's, we love looking at those stats because again, on an aggregate basis, we know how many steps uh, are in the, you know, in this challenge. And then when you divide it by, uh, you know, the number of steps to get a mile and the number of miles around the earth over four times, that's an impressive number. Um, and, you know, this year it's going to be, you know, both the 5,000 steps a day, yes or no. Did you, did you get the 5,000 steps? If you did, you get a point. If you didn't, you get zero. But then that step it up challenge uh, where we'll see uh, full uh, count and the beauty of what we just talked about, Ray, is when I sync my device or my app, it's tracking my steps for both of those challenge. I don't have dual entry, um, which is a great thing. And um, and I wanted to just pull up our website here at blueblackhealth.com and you can see right on our homepage, um, you know, register for the uh, Chamber Wellness Challenge. There's the handsome guy, uh, Ray Andrewson. And, uh, and then you just go from, you know, through this to, to register pretty straightforward. And then you can see here, if anyone's interested in sponsorships, not only do we have the flyer, but then we also have more details on what that gets you. Great. Well, I think we learned a lot. Uh, we want to thank everybody who came here today as a participant to learn more about the Chamber Wellness Challenge. Uh, we're only 15, uh, actually 16, 15, 16 days away from April 1st. Um, we can get your uh, group all signed up right now organize your business. Sponsorships are available. Um, here we are, year four. How about that, Eric? I think we, we did we did it. Yeah, it's, it's been really great. Yep. And, it's been great. Uh, our, Appreciate the support. You bet. Well, Greater New Haven Chamber of Commerce, Quinnipiac Chamber of Commerce, other chambers in Connecticut, you're on. Uh, the competition is going to begin. Uh, we want to thank uh, for our Healthcare and Life Sciences uh, Council that is sponsoring this programming, uh, Retreat Behavioral Health. Thanks to them and especially uh, to you and everybody with Blueback Health for uh, putting this together, Eric. Um, Eric Thompson from Blueback Health, thanks so much. Chamber Wellness Challenge. Thanks, have a great week.